Welcome back to Seat Story Cup 4. We have Zalay versus Gara. Winner's match. Winner moves on to move out of group one phases to go to group two phases in like a day and two. Day and two, yeah. Yeah, two days. Two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, how about you run back these lineups for us and let's hear what they're about. Okay, okay. So Zalay brought Druid, Warrior, and Hunter. Solid. Uh, he also brought Paladin, but Gara chose to ban it. Okay, solid makes choice, some sense. Solid, solid choice. Yeah, Paladin's annoying. It really is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets and who wants to deal with that? Here's a funny thing. Gara brought Paladin, Warrior, Hunter, and Shaman, but Zalay banned the Warrior and okay. not the Paladin. Not the Paladin. All right, so Zalay's got some strategy here to probably deal with the Paladin. Yeah. So I'm expecting probably like aggressive Druid and maybe Face Hunter, kind of target mm -hmm. out that Paladin, make sure he's got some answers for it. Would make some sense, but... uh. True. No one really knows until we get this underway. No one knows. And it looks like they're getting in the match right now. We got Gara pulling up best shaman, playing shaman. And we have Zalay playing warrior. And oh, more uh, shaman. Love it. Let's see if we can get Zalay's cards here. All right. Zalay does not have spectator mode Just enabled. Type to him. <laughs> nice. Well, the, the key, the letters are in different places. Yeah, I know. I know. This is this especially is like Y and Y and C are like all switched up. All right, don't be a smart ass, Delay. Come on. God damn it! Let me figure out this keyboard. Sorry. Just say invite, bro. Go. All right, so uh, Gara probably gonna mulligan all the way these cards. Maybe keep the Shredder though. Shredder's a pretty good minion presence mm -hmm. against uh, Control Warrior, for sure. And yeah, we got the invite. We did get the invite. We can see. We can see, we can see all of the secrets. Nope. I don't think Blizzard wants to let us know. No. Nope. Blizzard's protecting Zelay's hand. They're like, we can't show off patron warriors anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're done. We're going to get sued. Yeah. <laughs> we told them we nerfed it, but it's back. <laughs> we can't show you. Oh, um, come on. Do we have to, like, rejoin, maybe? Yeah, let's try and... Uh, let's, let's, let's abandon ship here and yeah. come back. Sorry for the inconvenience. We apologize. We All blame... Right. Um, we blame Blizzard Can we completely. say that? I don't... Probably. We blame Blizzard. All right. So we're getting I back in it. here. All right. Gar's hand is available. Yeah. So Lay's hand is available as well. We see the whole thing here. So it looks like Gara opened up with the Totem Golem on turn two. Turn three, looking to play another Totem Golem. Zalay, Rock of the Patron Warrior, we see indicated by the Inner Rage and uh, the Shredder and Unstable Ghoul. All cards that point towards Patron Warrior. Yeah. We just saw earlier uh, on main stage, Surrender do a lot of good work with Patron Warrior. So oh, definitely a solid deck. Yeah. I also saw it earlier. You weren't here then. Uh, I think it was Alesh. Who uh, got beaten by? Oh, actually, uh, by Soleil three, uh, three times by Patron. Oh, so you knew this was Patron the whole time. You're just teasing, I, I, I hiding it from I me. I just remembered okay. it, honestly. honestly sure, sure. I just right. remembered it. Using Inner Rage very defensively against the Shaman, he feels the pressure of that Totem Golem, immediately removing it. Interesting decision huh. here. Double Totem Golem, pretty early. That so is, that's when you want to draw the Totem Golems, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You don't want a late-game Totem Golem, because then the Overload actually becomes pretty uh, disruptive. But early game, it's not too bad. It's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. I like it a lot. Is yeah. he considering the uh, Death Spite here? Yeah, I'm not Looks too like big of a fan of the no, Death Spite. No, not, not me either. I like, I like either Shredder or I like Slam. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like Slam more. Uh, I kind of like Shredder more. Your opponent's overloaded. They're going into their turn three turn. Oh, that's true. Overloaded. That's true. Yeah. Oh, he's going for slam. Yeah. Huh. All right. I guess you're right. <laughs> Looks like I know your teammate more than you do. Yeah. <laughs> you win this one. That is a good oh. top deck when you have three mana. Not too bad there. He's going to be able to use his mana to actually do something besides doing the hero power. And uh, get to cycle a card. And Isn't it funny? He hasn't drawn the Kassan once. <laughs> yeah, it's like really weird. <laughs> it is kind of weird. It's not going to be very helpful against the warrior, but it, yeah. it may be helpful against the hunter if Look it manages this. to pull a win. Oh, it's flying, man. All right, flying Azure Drake. We probably just wait till it dies instead of rejoining. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably going to die this it's turn. It's flying, though. Like It's, it's blocking yeah. the uh, A death bite is going to take it out of the sky for yeah, sure yeah. this turn. Can warriors fly? Yep. 
Yep. <laughs> the Drake's the Drake's gonna die. It's gonna Is that what you call a top deck? <laughs> it's definitely up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so for some reason Zelay has zero out of four mana. I think it may be bugged. No, oh, no, he's moving cards now. There's like a 25% chance this is bugged. I'm gonna wait it out. I think that's the professional opinion here, but Can give it another like the mouse? 30 seconds uh. and then maybe try and... This isn't production's fault, by the way. This is just spectator mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So this is... They said they fixed it. Yeah, Blizzard did not. All right, let's rejoin because yeah, it's probably just perma bugged or something. Sorry about this, guys. Um... Yep. All right, we're gonna wait because we gotta spectate Gara first, and for some reason it's not popping up. Come on, game. Mm. So that dragon though, flying around the and flying stuff. Dragon sleeping as well in the air. All right, maybe I should just spectate Zelay first because Gara's not popping up as an ability. Oh, then you're gonna screw up for production. All right, I'm gonna so restart Hearthstone and see yeah, if that fixes it. Yeah. I'm not a tech support genius, but they tell me. Try restarting it all the time. Yeah, that's like the uh, first go to thing, right? Yeah, and then yeah, I gotta yeah. unplug it and replug it in. We might go through the whole process here. You might get a. Uh, viewers oh, at home might yeah. get to watch the whole unplugging, replugging. Yeah, Windows. We can call out. technical support. They can tell us to stay on hold and waste our life for 10 years. Like Send a technician, but we're not home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're never home when the technician yeah, shows yeah, up, yeah. right? Never yeah. home. Never home. Um. Yeah, we still can't spectate Gara, so I'm gonna Maybe. make do with what we got and just show Zelay, I guess. Because restarting, restarting didn't work, so yeah. I'm out of ideas. We're doing it. Yeah, I'm not a wizard, and I apologize for that. All right, so the overlay is gonna be on the wrong side though, because we are spectating the other way because spectator mode's bugging really hard. Uh, let me message Gara. So Gara is actually on the top. Oh my god, the keyboard. Yep. Make such a sweet noise as well, those mechanical keyboards. Definitely. I'm glad tap, everybody tap, enjoys tap. it. Alright, so the execute coming out. Zelay oh, here taking work. a pretty solid board advantage against the shaman. Which is kinda what you want to be doing. You don't want to let them accumulate a board ever. No no. That's when things can go wrong. And I feel like Patron Warrior is really good at killing a lot of small things. So it's very successful at uh, making sure all right, let's see if we can switch around to the other way. Making sure the shaman can never have a board, which is really important. Aha. Oh, it works. Maybe we are wizards. Yeah. We didn't even have to call tech support. <laughs> we are the tech support. We are the tech support. Easy. If you have any issues with uh, Hearthstone, just call Firebat. Definitely. Hit me up on Skype, Twitter, whereabouts. I will fix your technical support problems. But I don't think I can fix the problems in this game right now. It looks like, from my perspective anyway, the Gar is in a lot of trouble. Kind of looks like it, yeah. Yeah, zelay has got seven mana to spend this turn. He's ahead on board, and he hasn't even used any of his remaining seven mana. But Gara has a plan here. He's got this Doom Hammer, and he has potential to draw either Rock Biter or Alakir to try and find the remaining damage to try and close out this game. So Zelay's got to be kind of conscious of that and maybe think about trying to get this movie Dread Corsair out or uh, some other defensive things like Lotheb. Yeah, even a rock fighter is pretty close to lethal. Oh, yeah. It's potential lethal, actually, with the Crackle. With the Crackle, yeah. Ten, and then, like, you can even roll a totem, right? Then yeah. Try and get I, the I guess you kind of have to roll the totem if you armor up. Mm -hmm. But it looks like he does it. Armor Smith coming out. Yes, yeah, so that's six. Oh, he's going face. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, he's playing very okay, I yeah, mean, yeah, The Shaman's good. at 29 health, so it doesn't make too much sense to start yeah, trying yeah. to rush face down. Alakir's drawn. That's going to be a lot of potential burst on turn 10. Two turns away for Gara to be able to hit for the 10 damage of Alakir plus the 4 damage of the Doomhammer. He is going to get a lot of armor next turn. Uh, yeah. Though, so. <laughs> That's the scary part. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he might want to like set up for lethal now by just swinging the Doomhammer and... Uh, in phase and hoping for a rock biter next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, even like I like here, rock biter uh, works as well instead of hoping for the crackle. But yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, you're the definitely armor. swinging the doom hammer at the dome. Yeah. I, I don't think you want to go for board control with this hand. You have like hex for removal, you got crackle for damage, and then you got 
your finisher combo with Flame Tongue Alec here, and then Defender is like a tech card, and Heal Bot is a tech card. You just don't have the mid rangey minions you really need mm -hmm. to contest the board. So it just doesn't make any sense to try and go for board control. You're on that Smorkum plan and hope it works out. I wonder and if he's going to use the Crackle now, though. Just because of overloading. I love this play. Oh, this play. This, this play is, is good. Yep, this is really good. He's, he's he's showing right here. He is committed to the face light. Yeah. He knows he can't catch up on board. He's made the realization that the board isn't the place for him, and uh, he's gonna try and kill Zelay. Deny all that armor. Mm -hmm. That's the secret to beating warriors. Yeah. And going face, of course. Of course, of course. That's Lots of face. Lots of face. And. Uh, Zelay sees that now. He saw the Armorsmith get hexed, and now he's got to be really afraid of uh, of damage. Like, you see that happen. You know what your opponent's about. You know their plan. Immediately, you're like, all right, this guy is not going to try and trade with my minions. He's going to try and go all face and hope he finds enough damage. How do I prevent it? And the both of them's way. a good way. Yeah. <laughs> and the taunt. He has and the taunt. taunt. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's pretty much the only way he can uh, deal with it. I like this frothing, too. He's... He's forgoing armor to get this frothing out here, but uh, that frothing is going to be big. Especially with the whirlwind from the despite and the whirlwind in hand. And how much damage is that? It's not enough, obviously. Obviously not enough, no. yeah. But he might sit up for the uh, crackle next turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's got crackle next turn and um, the doom hammer swings. So that's a potential 10. You could get a bunch of damage from this. He selected an armor up last turn, so he's mm -hmm. committed to doing like a bunch of damage uh, yeah. the following turns. How much damage can Soleil really do here? So the Whirlwind's going to add... Oh, the Despite Swing and then the Whirlwind is going to add uh, 5 damage to the Frothing, so that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 oh. damage. You know what? And then he's got another Whirlwind for 3. He could actually play the uh, Dr. Boom as well and count the Boom Bots. That oh, will that add is damage true. to the frothing and throw boom butts in the face. Yeah. So I wonder is. how much that is. Yeah. It it might be lethal. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, I'm pretty sure it, I'm pretty it sure it's gotta be lethal, yeah. right? So you whirlwind first. I guess No. No, I think you were supposed to swing with the death bite first. Yeah, you were. Yeah. And then you can whirlwind after. Attack mm -hmm. with shredder and because now if the boom bots, oh. yeah, the boom bots, yeah. oh, well, they cleared it perfectly, so I guess it works out. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you would have attacked with the uh, face, you could have attacked with the shredder and then done the extra whirlwind. Yeah, I mean, if the boom bots yeah. didn't go exactly like that, this would have been awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but uh, eSports. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Digital athletics. All right, so Frothing still doing a lot of damage post-nerf. Yeah, it didn't quite have charge, but uh, 18 is a big number. It is, yeah. I've heard that uh, that's a big deal in Hearthstone. That's almost three giants. <laughs> almost three giants. No, it's like, it's, all, it's like a it's little like over two. two. Yeah, that's a little over two giants. You're a Hearthstone player. Where is this math coming from? <sighs> I don't know, man. Don't this know. is a disappointment. All right, we got to keep up with the scorecard, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Zelay just played Warrior and won against Gara's Shaman. With a, a sick lethal setup one turn before Gara was able to pull off his crackle lethal setup. Yeah. Really taking him down one step ahead of the game. Patron going strong. Sad to see Shaman go, though. Yeah. That That's probably the last game of Shaman we're going to see here until... Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Obviously not. We have Xixo, and if Gar actually makes this, he'll... Uh, yeah, Gar could still pull his way out of here. He's got... Uh, yeah. And even if he loses, he, uh, he has to play one more game. Well, he's got Paladin and Hunter against the latest Patron Warrior. Paladin traditionally very bad against Patron, and Hunter traditionally very bad against Patron. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll is, see what he picks. He has got to be nervous about that, but he feels Paladin is the best. I tend to agree with him there, that Paladin yeah, Paladin sure. could pull out a win against anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All, like your video, like all you need is... Yeah, all you need is the curve. Yeah. And uh, sometimes Paladin gets that curve and, and really just dumpsters like people. And he's oh. got most of the opening eh. curve right now. It's a lay with a lot of good answers with Fiery War X and yeah. a stable ghoul, though. He would really want some shielded minibots. Mm -hmm. So good against Warriors. Oh, yeah, for sure. Shielded minibot is the card. Knife Juggler, not too that bad works. with the muster for battle. He's able to go coin two into two here, which is mm -hmm. pretty good. He's going to have to go with Noble Sacrifice instead. Understandable. Save that coin for that potential Mysterious Challenger out a little earlier, later on in the game. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty good as well, setting up a Noble. But if you want to play a Juggler next turn. Sure, sure. Try and get that guy protected. Definitely could work out for you. Have someone die in your 
Oh, what would you say? Place. Yeah. That's yeah. what you say, right? Yeah. Good, Good Swedish. Stuff. Come on. All right. That, <laughs> <won't help. laughs> that was dark, man. <laughs> All right, Unstable Ghoul comes down. That's going to be able to take care of the Noble Sacrifice, allowing the Fiery War X to swing through. Yep. But uh, how many secrets is Zelay going to play around here? Because the ordering is kind of important here. Because you got to factor in things like Redemption. you got to factor in things like... Okay, no, even if it's Redemption. It, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> just like Redemption and Noble, but like yeah. none of them is really a big... Uh, yeah, none of them is really... Problem, you just yeah. attack first with the, the Ghoul to the face, mm -hmm. and then uh, hopefully you dodge the Juggle. Yep. And then try and War X, or you could just slam the juggler instead. That works too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be a really good setup for uh, Muster, actually. Yeah. Ooh, oh, the ghoul is going to die, so it's not going to be around to, to deal with this Muster for battle. That is unfortunate for Zelay. Losing that 50 50 there could impact the game quite a bit. Okay, so. But he does have the two whirlwinds to kind of yeah, react yeah, to yeah, Muster. Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah. And uh, now War X is going to come out. Not too bad, mm -hmm. after all. Yeah. all right. mm. Definitely seeing a muster on three here. No question about that. And Zelay looking to try and pick up maybe Accolade of Pain to go with his Whirlwind to try and make something happen. Frothing Berserker, not too bad either. He's going to be able to Whirlwind probably first oh. and then develop it. So it's yeah, less it's vulnerable to things. Not really much the Paladin can do about that. Like mm -hmm. maybe a... Uh, Attack consecration, or a true silver if you had any, but yeah. still a lot of damage to the face. A lot of people don't run too many true silvers in their secret paladin. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they don't. Yeah, like well, a tops one. Nowadays. Yeah, definitely only like one max. I haven't seen two in tr in uh, secret paladin in a long time. He's gonna go yeah, it's mostly one. like hog hammers if uh, if any weapon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And ash bringer. Yeah, definitely lots of ash bringers. That's annoying for warrior to <laughs> deal with. That Tyrion on 8 is always a bummer. Yeah. I cry every time. So do I. All right. So I cry when I draw Repentance as well. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> not a good draw. <laughs> yeah, not at all. It is not what you want to see for sure. So Gar's got a decision here. He's got, like, Shredder, or he's got Consecrate Trade, or he's got, like, Haunted Creeper Hero Power. And uh, I fancy the Shredder play? Yeah, so do I. I think, like, Consecrate and then try and, like, trading or trading with it and then consecrating it is just like way too defensive yeah and surrendering all the tempo to your opponent if they have a five drop you just get blown out of the water so i like trying to develop the shredder first your opponent's not going to trade with you and then you can consecrate clear the board and then you have the initiative of the shredder still on the field yeah that's a lot of that's a lot of thinking ahead <laughs> it's nice it's very nice i kind of got lost in the middle there just like Thinking about frothing damage if you actually place the uh, haunted creeper with like whirlwinds and stuff. Okay, sure. Yeah, the repentance there I like that. Set up to deal with potential five drop. Try and regain the tempo. Yeah. Why not? Or like low sub something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, looks like he is just gonna clear that shredder. And could uh, also act as a. Um, it's like a trick yeah, secret. Yeah. It's like, hey, here's a noble sacrifice. What you gonna do? Exactly, exactly. And uh, that might make Zelay have to attack first with a frothing and miss out on a little bit of damage. Yeah. It's a bit tricky dealing with it. Okay, this is, yeah. yeah. You're gonna battle rage first, try and get some more options. Pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Two death bites, both unusable during this turn. He's yeah. only got three mana remaining. But I mean, they're good to have. Like, you're yeah, never disappointed yeah. when you see a Death Blade. Oh, no, no, definitely not now. Oh, that could have been a redemption. But I don't know. Well, unfortunately for Zelay, he cannot slam off that uh, oh, the fairy yeah, dragon. That's so slam. that's going to be able to contest the, uh, the Frothing Berserker. Gara got pretty lucky there with that one. He's yeah, got to be happy sure. about it. But he can't Kings it. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and having two kings. Come on, like, where's the low thub sludge? Yeah. He's, like, going off curve now. This is not the secret paladin thing to do. Yeah. Come definitely on, should be trying to follow closer to the curve. Yeah, shape up, Gara. Mistakes have been made. Definitely he could control his, the order of his draw and stuff, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so Zelay's perspective. I, I really like getting one of the Death Blade equipped. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, you have to. 
yeah, you, you got two of them. You really need to get it out there, get that whirlwind effect going so you can start clearing off all these tokens. Secret still up. You probably right. assume at this point it's repentance. Yeah, yeah. Because you've been making attacks, you've been killing things, so the only one left is like eye for an eye and repentance. Oh no, not even eye for an eye because you went face with frothing, so it has to be repentance. So he's going to get this death bite up, deal four damage to the face. Makes a lot of sense. The Haunted Creeper is not really too big of a threat. Yeah. You just want to have the face damage present and the whirlwind ready. And if we count the damage in Zelay's hand, how much does he have? Oh, he has 10 from hand, so it's pretty good. 4 from kings, 8 from the other kings, and 2 from the consecration. So I guess it's going to... Yeah, it's like a 13 like total, but I guess you want to do the blessings here. <laughs> the blessings, huh? I kind of like it, like on the... Uh, the creeper, yeah, yeah, like stays out of the uh, death spite range. You're pretty good, man. You're predicting Thanks, man. the plays, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, like predicting Saleh. This guy knows what he's talking about, yeah, it's like a high quality caster. <laughs> high quality <laughs> <laughs> can't right. even keep the scores right. All right, so he does do exactly what Martin Creek said, and he uh, kings is the haunted creeper, goes face with it. Saleh now facing down a bit of damage there. We got seven on the board for Gara. Yeah, there's oh he drew the dread courser, which yeah, yeah it's like pretty good to proc. Like you don't want to proc to repent us with a patron at least. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for uh, sure. but you want to get this slam cycled first. Pop this haunted yeah. creeper so this whirlwind effect can fully clear the board, remove all of this pressure, and uh, probably just coast from there. And he has enough damage. Can he just like weapon him in the face to death? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> twelve. Does look like it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got eighteen damage yeah. of weapon damage. He's one off from just weaponing Gara to death. Yeah, just, just rear the hell out of him. Spite and play the Dread Corsair. Yeah, look at that. Sometimes Patron Warrior turns Face Warrior. It's a rough world out there. Yeah, <laughs> it's a rough world. <laughs> The only way to stop the uh, the weapons is like the Tyrion. Yeah, the Tyrion would be a good top deck for Gara after oh, this build. Okay, that's yeah, also that, pretty that's good. a pretty yeah, good yeah, one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that now Tyrion after this one, you mm -hmm. know, follow the curve, Paladin. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, this is this is pretty interesting. You can slam face with your minion and weapon, play the acolyte and equip maybe the fire war axe, execute the Doctor Boom. Sure. Yeah, you missed the weapon charge, though. Do you really need to, uh, to me. Uh, re equip? No, 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 whirlwind. like yeah. not the charge. You just like re equip for, uh, yeah, you could just whirlwind, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Did not see it. Right. Did not see it. Now we can play the shredder. Uh, I think you want to execute Dr. Boom. That guy's big. Oh, yeah, you can't play the shredder because of mana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your casting has been going downhill. I, I feel bad that I give you, you like the pressure on now. me, dude. You, yeah. you put the pressure on me. It's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now you blame me. Yeah, it's all Firebats' fault. Ridiculous <laughs> casting partner here. High quality casting. All right, that is yeah. not Tyrion, so he's probably Ouch. disappointed. But Competitive Spirit could come down and help out some things if this death bite didn't just kill everything. Yeah. And it's been Zale, causing a lot of trouble. Zelay looking for Grom, obviously, to close out this game. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, that works. Ooh, that is uh, not this a bad turn, I mean... Yeah, it's still very good. It's still very good, yeah. Because yeah. you can drop it together with the shredder, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you just swing at the Lothab, clear the entire board, and have two 3-3 patrons and a shredder on the field, and then a war X in the pocket to try and close out the game. That's all you need. Uh, the curve didn't work out. It didn't see a single mysterious challenger. Yeah, Tyrion. No. We, we could still see a Tyrion come out and for Gar's side, and he could be right back in this game. Okay, yeah. Secret Keeper oh, is not okay. Tyrion. Um, and, yeah. He's got any outs here. That's nope. it. <laughs> that is, that is going to be it. And Zelay is off to a 2-0 lead with the Patron deck, taking out Gara's Paladin, which Gara queued into the Patron Warrior deck. So that means Gara thought that is his best answer to Patron Warrior deck in his lineup, and that's what he's got to play to beat it. And it turns out it didn't work out for him. Yeah, now he has to reverse sweep. Yeah, reverse sweep with Hunter, which is doable. It is doable, it's, yeah. It's, it's Hunter. Hunter. Come on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. Yeah, but the first target is a patron warrior, so... It's tough. It is tough. I mean, obviously reverse sweeps are never easy, but if there's one shaman player that's able to do it, he's playing Hunter. It's Gara, <laughs> man. He can do it. Well, maybe not with his hand, but... Yeah, the bow's pretty good. 
<coughs> and uh, okay, yeah, the boy was pretty good, <laughs> but <laughs> the other cards. I like you. You like you see the good in everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the boy was pretty good. I mean, just disregard sure. everything else, but yeah, I mean, he is always the top of the deck. As long as you just like draw one drop, then you draw like a two, two drop. drop. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Good, yeah. There you go. And then for the three well. drop, you just play the bow and you draw something that you can play together. Well, I mean, even better, drop. you could just yeah. skip the bow, draw Animal Companion. Yeah. Not play any of these garbage cards. <laughs> 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 mm. But uh, not today. And uh, Zelay's got a decision if he wants to coin out the armor smith or if he wants to just hold. But then he is going to hold. He's got two shredders. I imagine he's going to want to be coining shredder into shredder. So I, I expect to see Armorsmith come out here to try and deal with this freezing trap mm -hmm. and then a coin shredder into shredder. That's going to be really rough. Yeah, that is a strong curve, especially oh, against an opponent that doesn't have anything going on. Like, Gara yeah. doesn't have any minions developing, and this is the point where Gara needs to be applying pressure. Ouch. And his draw is just burn spells. Oh, no, doesn't even choose to oh, swing with the bow. Okay. He's going to hold back on it. Sure. So now in Zelay's position, I imagine he's just going to coin shredder and just kind of chill out and hold on to it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's uh, pretty difficult for Hunter to deal the four damage to remove the armor smith, so he can choose to proc the freezing trap at his leisure and not uh, not submit guard extra bow charges in the meantime. It's pretty sad to see Hunter with this hand. Like, we've all been there. I mean, when the uh, inevitable happens. I mean, only reversed. if you're only if you're like a scumbag and play Hunter. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you had it coming, man. <laughs> You had it coming. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. There isn't really that many hunters in this tournament, after all. It is. Yeah, even like ladder, the amount of hunters have gone down. Yeah. It's surprising. But People hunter. found Secret Paladin. Yeah. They found a new love and passion. Okay, well, this is pretty nice on curve. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. He's finding some minions to curve out with his damage. Will it be enough, though? That's the ultimate question. Unstable Ghoul is pretty Ouch. good. That's pretty rough, yeah. It would even come down, though, because, like, another Shredder is just so much more pressure. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't really have to play on the, like, defensively now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to see another Shredder come out for sure. Yeah. And that just, like, wins the board the following turns. Like, it's yeah. It's not really a way to come back from that, especially if you proc the Prison Trap with the uh, Armor Smith. Yeah. I don't know if you proc it yet. I think no. you could probably just wait one more turn. Yeah, yeah. You could defensively, like, interrage the Leper Gnome, though. Just remove that two damage from the board. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't mind seeing that. You know your opponent doesn't have too many minions, because if you've been watching his hand, you've seen every minion he's played come off the far right <laughs> side. Yeah, yeah. So you, you know every card in his hand has got to be, like, a burn spell or a trap or something like that. Yeah, maybe so. a Savannah Hyman. So just, like, overclearing seems very reasonable. Yeah. But, uh, Zelaya... Let's go for it. It's going to take the most defensive line possible here. Which makes sense. I mean, if you live long enough, you get patrons down, you win the game. That's how patron warrior do True. against aggro. And a mad scientist. And a mad scientist. And a mad scientist. How do you go about this? This is a really awkward turn. Mm. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unstable Ghoul is a good card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really, it screws up with, yeah. Yeah, that is... That makes like things awkward. No real way to, like, utilize his Leper Gnome at all. Yeah, that, the Leper Gnome card. He's gone, man. Yeah, he's dead. He's just stranded, man. Yeah. Won't even be useful. He's out there in purgatory all alone. Poor little Leper Gnome. Could quick shot the, uh... Nah, I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, it's gonna kill go with Kill Command for yeah. mana efficiency. I like that. Mm-hmm. Leper Gnome, of course, just vanishing away. Gone with the wind, little Leper Gnome. Kill the, okay, kill the Armorsmith, perhaps, or just chill with the weapon. You want those charges? He is going to mm -hmm. chill for the charges. I, I like it. I feel like you really need the charges. Yeah, right? you do. Oh, no, he is okay. going to kill it. All right, so I guess he's a... Screw the charges. He doesn't yeah, need the charges. the charges. Yeah, yeah. Who said he needed the charges? That Nobody. Guy is silly. Nobody said. Yeah. Charges unnecessary. Well, the Precinct Trap is nice now. Yeah, yes. it's definitely pinning out this Shredder, which would have been annoying. So, Gar fighting back on the board. He's got some burn cards in hand. Really looking to pick up some, like, arcane golems and stuff. Start really pushing the initiative here. Mm -hmm. Maybe a high main, you know. I heard that's pretty good on six. High main's pretty good versus warrior. Or just, like, decent, you know, like, just 
Dies. Dies. <laughs> yeah, good old high mains. <laughs> so, Zelay's perspective, though. What does he got going on? He's got to just try and minimize damage. Take defensive routes. Looks like he's yeah. going with Accolade of Pain, Whirlwind, Inner Rage. That's pretty good. Draw, this, yeah. draw some cards. Hoping that Gara doesn't Eight actually cards. run two types of traps so that then... Uh, Oh, he's gonna go with Execute. Well, that's a good Battle Rage for next turn. Yeah, it's definitely a good Battle Rage for next turn. Gara does run two traps, so unfortunately Zelay's not able to get rewarded there by trying to remove the second trap. And it is gonna be a Snake Tramp, and he doesn't have an answer to it yet. And uh, he's gonna have to try and find one with that Battle Rage, or just stop trading. He's ahead yeah, on board, yeah. so he's getting to that point where he could probably just do that. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas Gara drew, like, a pretty good draw. But yeah, does he want to kill? Him. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna kill it. Mm -hmm. He's gonna keep that shredder stuck there as long as he can. Make sure that it uh, can't do any damage, can't do any trading, can't do much of anything at all. Not much at all. <laughs> and it's gonna allow Gar's shredder to run free on the board. But Gar's out of steam, man. One card in hand, yeah. as opposed to Zelay's six cards. This kind of sucks being the hunter. Like your opponent is at <laughs> 27 health and you have one card left in your hand. Yeah, usually you want to be out of gas when they're at like two. Yep, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that's a fine. That's, that's a fine health amount to be out of gas. Yep, yep. A bit tricky though. A bit tricky. The snake trap is not gonna do much either. Like versus a warrior mm -hmm. with all those whirlwinds. I don't know. I think if I was delay, I would just play the biggest thing in my hand and hit him in the face. Yeah, right? uh, yeah. I mean, the bow's gone now, so I think I just like Lotheb and then get rid of the freezing trap because you don't have any small minions remaining to proc the freezing trap anyway. So just yeah, why not well proc it right? with the shredder? Yeah. Would you play Lotheb though? Yeah, I, I like Lotheb a lot. Okay. Uh, it's, it's got like five attacks, so we can trade into like high main and stuff if that comes out. Well, Soleil is a fan of the weapon to face, so that's the approach he's taking. I mean. I never turn down an opportunity to smorf the face. Yeah, this that's like <laughs> that's never a misplay. That's never a misplay. There's always a reason to hit someone in the face. Mm -hmm. Oh so. wow. There's the gal on the shredder. Interesting because okay. it's just getting freezing trapped anyway. We're gonna see the kill command fire off while the RB Cowl's in play. This is gonna open up uh, quick shot possibilities. Also makes it look pretty empty on Gara's side of the board. Or a hand. Mm-hmm. He's thinking about killing the shredder. Interesting. That would protect the freezing trap for sure. Yeah, it would. How valuable is the freezing trap really? It's pretty valuable, I guess. But at this point, damage is pretty valuable as well. What is it though? His opponent's at 23. He needs board control. Oh, he decides oh. to take. That. That was interesting. I think yeah, there was still a possibility he could pull out there. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way to gain more armor. Except he had, uh, he had gone, the potential right? board control. Yeah. Could have got like maybe even Millhouse off the two drop. Things mm -hmm. could have happened. The stars could have aligned. He could have top decked High Main. Like. Yeah. Hmm. I think but, it was uh, maybe one. No, a couple of outs. I mean, I guess the I shaman know, was plays. down. He was done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without the shaman, what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right. All right. That uh, that settles it. Yeah. So it looks like Zelay is going to be advancing out of groups 2-0 today, which means we'll be seeing him Saturday. Is it? Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday yeah. in the uh, the next group phase. Meanwhile, Gar is knocked down to the losers bracket, where he is going to play against the winner of the losers match. Which is. Which yeah, is Zixo against Alesh. Yeah. And so uh, there's Zixo just walking in the room right now, trying to figure out what's going on. Alesh comes in as well. That means the game's going to be starting pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're going to cut to a break really quick, get these players set up, and get ready to rock and roll. So stay tuned, guys. Zixo and Alesh are here arguing with Gara about his concede. <laughs> Hearthstone drama. Hearthstone drama. Esports. Every drama. All right. All right. Be ready.